Hi, this is Ezra Wolf, and I'm going to be showing some of the new report features in Ethos CE 6.3.3. What we're looking at here is a global dashboard. It's a report of all the activity of users across all the courses in a site. You can see in the top left that it can be filtered by time range. The report on the top left is the user counts report. It's a bar graph that shows the number of users in progress and completed in all the courses. To the right, you can see the total number of credits earned by week. As I scroll down, to the bottom left is historical participation. The line graphs show the number of users registered and completed over time. And to the right of that is the demographics chart. The demographic can be set based upon the demographics that you have in your site. At the very bottom of this page, you can see that all these reports can be downloaded. You can export them to a CSV and open them in Excel for further analysis. We also have a re report dashboard for each site on the course. So right now I'm looking at that same report, but we're only seeing it for one course. There is one important difference with this dashboard, and that's that you have the quiz completion bar graphs. For each quiz, we're showing both the first attempt, the passing attempt, and all attempts. So I can compare the first attempt of the pretest versus the first attempt of the post-test. Or if I like, I can turn them all on. Again, all these reports are downloadable in CSVs so that you can take them out, put them in Excel, and analyze them further. The course reports dashboard can be customized by the demographic profile field of your choosing. Here we have a report of all enrollments in all courses across the site. It's a big report for most sites, so you can filter it by time, by name, or you can select just a few courses and export those users, again, to Excel for further analysis. Here we're looking at the item analysis report. And this report is an aggregate report of all the responses of all the users for this quiz in this course. The columns represent the user's responses, both in counts and percentages. You can also see the percent correct facility, the standard deviation, the discrimination index, and coefficient. The rows are the questions and the responses themselves. Now where this gets really interesting is when you compare the pretest with the post-test. We allow for comparison of any two quizzes in a course. And you can see when I pull the drop down and click on compare, I can now compare how my users did on the first test in the course with the second test on the course. And all this data can be downloaded into a CSV file and opened up into Excel for further analysis. In addition, you can download all the individual responses, not just the counts. We still have the good old overview of each quiz, showing you the number of users who've completed it, the attempt that you have for each user, the score they got, and the number of time it took them. We also have the evaluation report, which shows the average response to each evaluation question. These also can be downloaded. As you can see, we've added a lot of charts, and we've got a lot more that are coming soon. This has been a review of the reports on Ethos CE 6.3.3.